want to ask you, you know, what kind of experience are you having here at Financial Managers? Uh, well, Hal, thank you. Uh, this is in our backyard, so we're a Boston-based company. So we have a lot of our local customers visiting, and it's nice for them to share our story with prospects. So it's been kind of fun having it in our backyard. Well, that's exciting. Are you all primed for Los Angeles in the uh, annual meeting? We're heads down, working on a lot of ways to see stuff as we speak. Great, great. And you know, what can people look forward to seeing at your booth? Well, we have a lot of uh, incremental uh, progress on a number of fronts. We have an integrated clinical record, which includes a telephony for the point of care for the home health aides, as well as the hospice volunteers. Wow. So they can now be part of the electronic record. Wow, that's very exciting. So yeah, well, I can see how you'd be uh, happy to roll that out. That's sort of revolutionary. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Well, it's all part of our integrated solution. What uh, advice are you giving to providers right now? There are a fair number of uh, challenges as well as opportunities. What advice are you giving to the provider community? Well, this is somewhat a, of a counterintuitive advice, but now is the time to invest to gain efficiencies. So. If you haven't made the investment in point of care technology, now is a good time to invest because there's a real return on investment of anywhere between nine and 15 months. So that would be my advice to look at your processes, look at your efficiencies and make some investments for improving those. Yeah, don't just sit back and let life happen to you. That's right. Yeah, That's right. if you act like a cork bobbing on the ocean, you're gonna be swept out to sea. That's correct. Yeah. I appreciate talking to you, Steve. Thank you for the good advice. Hal, thank you. Take care.